Hey guys, welcome to the Rush Royale Tower Defense Offer. Get to Arena 9, 12, and uh, League 5 in order to get up to 50 something dollars. That's three checkpoints. You, you, I think the first two checkpoints you get a little bit over $10. However, you actually get paid out earlier for, I think, two of them. Um, I don't know about Arena 9. You might get paid at Arena 8, but I didn't pay attention. However, I did get paid out, paid out at Arena 11 instead of 12. I mean, to, for the second part. And then for League 5, um, I went on Reddit and then they said it was like League 4 instead of 5. So you get it earlier. Uh, these are just ranks uh, in the game where you have to get to. And there's some strategies to that, so I'll show you that. It's actually a simple game, but it takes a while to uh, put together, right? So you got to get some strategies in here. Now, I only got to Arena 11 for the second part of the offer because it's going to take me another month to get the League uh, League 4. Even um, they say they paid out League 4. So even then, I think it's going to take me another month. Because I just don't have as much time to play this game. I'm playing other games as well, and I just gotta move on. But this is a really fun game, and that's why I'm showing you guys this. All right, uh, this is a tower defense. It's really fun. This is my like second second favorite game out of all the ones I've played so far. Yeah, something like that. Second favorite, maybe third favorite, but maybe, probably second favorite here. Okay, but first, where do you get this offer? Um, now, I usually like so in the description of this video, there's some links to some websites here. That should have the offer depending on the place. However, um, at the moment, I've only seen this on free cash. However, I've seen offers go from free cash and then they move over to Swagbucks, my points, inbox dollars. Dysolite is is one of those offers that uh, moved from free cash to Swag and my points, and Swag and my points I think had a better offer there. So that was kind of nice. Okay, but yeah, here's the links. Um, if you for the ones that you want to check, they all have referral bonuses. If you click on these, they should be like five five dollars these days. So yeah, click on any of these, and then uh, you do want to go to, let's say, on Swagbucks. You want to go to Discover Games, and you want to search for, um, you search search if, search for if this offer is on the website here, right? For my points, uh, you click on the referral link on my points. Go to my points, and then uh, you go to deals. Click on deals. Then under category, you want to go for entertainment here and then you want to search for that offer if it's here sometimes my points pays more than swagbucks does and on occasion inbox dollars actually pays more than all of them or they pay this it pays the same amount but then there's like a five dollar referral bonus um that you can get which you know is better if you've already signed up for swagbucks and my points so there's a link for a referral link for that there too okay but on to the main one at the moment because this could go up um this could go on those, those three websites the offer could change a little bit. I don't think it's gonna probably gonna not gonna change. Yeah, it's probably not gonna change. Uh, I think it has it has a pretty good goal set, so uh, I don't think it's gonna change. But in case it does, uh, you know, just check. There's a whole bunch of places here. Um, click on the referral link here. The referral bonus is not as much on free cash as it is on the other websites. Uh, but at the moment, I believe it's on IT Studios. But here's the thing. Weirdly, um, when I go on a computer, it actually doesn't show me the offer but when i go on my phone uh, let me just make a random account on phone and so, so you guys can see let's go to mobile me um to see the royal rush tower td offer i don't know why it's not a computer when you look at computer but it is on uh it is on it studios when you look at the phone so let's go to mobile me right now oh okay, guys apparently uh my phone broke or my the sound of my phone broke so I just have to uh, talk over this. This is Rush Royale TD, and this is on IT Studios, and it's on mobile phone, but it wasn't showing up on PC, so I guess if you're looking on PC, go to your phone, right? Um, it's Arena 9, 12, League 5, but you actually get it at Arena 11 and League 4. That's basically all it is. Um, I made a new account just to see if it, was, uh, it would show up for you guys, and yeah, it's currently it's still here. I think it's going to be here for a little while. All right. All right, guys, back to mobile me. Let me just show you. This is there's five units that you had, you need to use, right? To get to Arena 11, you're gonna need to uh, increase your ranking in player versus player PVP, and so you're gonna need to use some of these rankings. Uh, I mean, you're, you're gonna need to use these cards put together, and player versus player and co-op is different, and so you want to use different cards. Uh, let's see. Let's go over to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do some player versus player to kind of show you guys what this is all about. Okay, every week there's a faction that's on highlights and it gives you an extra effect if you use something on that faction. This week it's Kingdom of Light and once every 60 seconds, a random unit of this faction 
uh, on the field will increase its rank by one. So I need to use at least one unit of, of this faction or else it would be pointless. All right, so for me, I'm gonna pick this guy. I'm gonna switch it over to this guy. Um, this is gonna be my damage dealer. So if you get a wind archer, he's really good. Um, Frost is pretty good too. And then as for this one, I'm gonna go for, so this is one of the units that you'll get in the beginning that's actually decent. But it's like a late game. Um, even though, even though I really like the effect, he has an inst he has a chance to instantly kill a target. Does not work on bosses. Um, he's pretty good in the beginning, uh, but you also use him late game too. Uh, it's kind of hard to say. I'll I'll give you the strategies on this uh, real quick. So let me see. You're gonna start with once you get the engineer, you want to use him along with this uh, portal keeper for a while in the beginning, and then. Um, eventually you're going to get some purples. You want to try stuff out, Co combinations out. Each one has their own effect. Um, which one's best in play versus player? I think don't do the mana strategy in play versus player. Uh, there's a mana strategy of, you know, gaining more mana. I mean, okay, you could, you, you actually could, um, but you should not use the, the strategy, which I'm going to use in co-op, which is increasing his mana according to how much unused mana. All right. So this is the mana strategy. Um, but you could, you could also grab mana using the vampire just to help yourself out um you guys will see here i'll, I'll play player versus player right now and show you guys what this is all about in player versus player um where you have three lives and each monster kills one of your lives if it makes it to the other side all right and you have 100 mana yeah each summon um requires more and more mana right you can also upgrade um so you, you guys see there's five set uh five different units i i can upgrade let's see for right now, I need I need to get my mana. So this guy gives me mana. I'm gonna upgrade that. So you guys saw he was giving me two mana. Well, now his bites give me four mana. So that's why I'm using that. Um, now you guys can see there's a timer. The boss will come after the timer, right? And then everyone who's not dead will. Okay, I'm gonna get to level three so I get more chakra for that. And then I'm gonna start getting more units. Okay. Um, but yeah, this. Upgrading this upgrades their abilities and their damage, but I'm not using this guy for damage. I'm using it for mana. So, all right. So now I have this guy. You guys remember the faction ability there? Um, now that I have this guy, um, every 60 seconds, one of one of these guys will upgrade. All right. Um, all right. So my main damage dealer is the Wind Archer here. So I'm gonna upgrade him right now. So every four seconds, he goes super Rambo mode, super fast. I'm gonna upgrade him two times actually, and then I'm gonna start getting more units. So I this is a late game because it's only a chance of killing a unit, and there's not a, there's not enough like these units don't have a lot of HP. So um, it's better if you re if you have a random chance to kill um, these units and they have more HP. All right, they have more HP. Then the effect is better. Okay, I I only need one. I'm gonna upgrade these guys. All right, there we go. Now we're getting there. You, you want to make sure you, you finish till the end of the line by the time you're finished. Or at least do the best you can. Um, Alright. Yeah, I want to do this. I'm going to combine this guy. Okay, we have one. Okay. I think we have enough um, this type. So you guys, can you guys can put units together. Okay, see that faction effect there. You guys can put units together if you want. Alright, so there. See, now I'm... I'm set. I've got all the chakra by killing all these guys. You guys can see all the units that have not died goes into the boss's HP. The bosses have special effects, and I really hate this one because he kills some of my units, or he lowers the he lowers the tier of my units, and some of them die because they're only tier one. Who? But yeah, you, you guys can combine um these all right to all right. So now these guys will have more HP. Three thousand. Um, it's gonna increase, and some of my units died earlier, so it's not looking good. But some of his units died earlier as well. Um, he's also using the same unit because it's a faction thing. Um, you, you get an upgrade every 60 seconds, so it's kind of nice. I'm going to look for... Uh, let's see. Now is a good time to start upgrading these guys. Because the instant chance... It's getting it's getting a lot longer to kill um, these units uh, because of how much HP they have. And so the instant kill chance here has made it really nice. All right, uh, Now I have two... Uh, I, okay, I now I have a... Um, I prefer not to have such a high level frost, but yeah, it, it's random. When you combine units, it's random. But at least I slow these guys down and he'll die before I do. Okay, uh, let's go. Keep it on, keep it on. Okay, this guy upgraded again. So tier 4. Once you go to tier 4, you lose some damage, but your ability effects um, do get better. 
So his his ability effect is to increase uh, his damage every 10 seconds um, if he hits one person. All right, so I'm going to... Ooh, okay. This is going to be hard. I don't know if I'm going to win or not. I'm going to increase how slow you guys can make it. Uh, th this chance. Um, I'm going to... Okay, I'll put these two guys together. More slows. More of these guys. Okay, this chakra boost is no longer helping me because I'm close to death. Um, upgrading these guys. All right, well, we got another mana. Oh, okay, tier five. I mean, okay, well, I'll increase the damage on that tier five. That's helpful. All right, there's a special ability here. You guys can act. Oh, okay, we got the boss here. Bedlam. Oh, I don't know if I can make it, but I'm going to summon this guy. He blocks for like four seconds and he keeps changing my units. And so <laughs> that could be really bad. That could be a really bad thing. He's winning now. Um, is he? It's hard to say. His units are not that good. Okay, I think both of us are going to lose on this one. No? Maybe? No, he's not going to be able to kill it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill it either. I'm slowing him down, but um, he's on frost. So he's on frost, but I, I don't think I can kill him. He keeps changing my units. And it's random. And it's sometimes good, sometimes bad. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. Okay. I mean, okay. The bosses take two hearts off of you. Oh. Oh, okay. Well. Eh. Okay. Now the, the units are going to... So, I ha okay. Good. I have some dark units. I need the kill chance because these guys are getting harder to, and longer to kill. And that's going to give me somewhat of an advantage. But I don't know how big of an advantage this is going to be. So, yeah. This is end game. So, this black... Uh, instant kill chances end game uh i feel like a sports announcer right <laughs> um let's keep it going i don't need you only need two sets of mana at most all right so combine them if you need to let's see what's going on here all right so yeah in, this is a mini boss so the instant kill chance does not work on him but i can focus i can these guys hit hit randomly and so i can focus all my attacks on this guy and yeah he is he's dead it's my win see okay you gotta last longer than your opponent by the way this thing over here is, is critical hit and then i think this is ranking i forgot what this is supposed to be yeah it doesn't matter Whew. okay i won i got some points um and sometimes the ads are pretty uh <laughs> sometimes you need ads all right as for the co-op strategy i think it's a it's gonna take a long time but yeah for the co-op strategy okay look i got some points I get, I get some random cards. Grindstone, which if you put it near a unit, you get some attack critical hit or something. Okay, um, for, as for this one, so I'm going to play the lowest level so it's much faster. So, so, I, so I can show you guys here. Uh, but let's see. I'm going to play this one. I like this one kind of. Hits an extra person with lightning attacks and dazes a unit. So this hits a couple units. Um, in the beginning, you might use this. Uh, as for a unit that might upgrade over time, I guess this one is area attack should be nice. Um, yeah, it should be okay. I don't need, this is level one, so I'm not really worried about dying. All right, this guy hits a lot. This guy has a good high chance and this guy gives me more mana. So you can test and play around with this. I love this game, honestly. Just, uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. All right, chapter one, let's play level one here. You can, you can play with a clan or a friend, but um, I just play with a casual player most of the time. Okay, we're going to... This is not going to be intensive because I've already upgraded all, a lot of these cards. But I'll, I'll give you a quick strategy rundown. So, okay. In the beginning, I do not need... Because uh, they have such low HP, I do not need the instant kill chance. These guys hit a couple at a time, possibly. Not always. And if I upgrade these guys... Um, They'll have a higher chance of dazing and just deal more damage, really. So that's going to be my strategy in the beginning. Though, I should probably go for the Vampire because it gives more Chakra. But yeah, these guys are upgraded pretty well. So, um, Okay, yeah, the super fast type. This guy's an area damage. So if there's like a lot of, a lot of uh, people that um, don't get killed easily, then you can start using area damage that deals much better. Uh, I don't need this, so I'll get rid of this um, when I can. Oh, this is the area damage. Pretty slow, but it's area damage. All right, there we go. Um, now we can stop up upgrading this guy and get some extra mana from these guys. 
down too. Okay, you guys can see here um, on the top left, there's a positive effect and there's a negative effect. Uh, this one, damage of any new units is increased for a period of time, which is awesome. So if I summon him, he gets the sword attack thing, extra damage. Burning out means the hero's morale drops to zero. So this is the hero's special ability. Um, I'll show you guys that after after this effect is gone. All right. But yeah, there's always, every five waves, um, there's a different positive and negative effect. And there's a counter against every strategy that you have. Literally. The boss might have a counter, um, and the positive and negative effects might have a good, a helpful thing, a helpful thing or a counter. So, we're gonna make this fast. Alright. Um, let's see. This is my damage dealer. I really love the Winder. And also the upgraded version, too. Oh, this guy has uh, a, a really good card here, too. So that's kind of nice. Uh, this guy... Okay, this one's like the monkey or something. Yeah, this one has a monkey that explodes bombs. <laughs> All right, yeah. Once they come over here, both you and your opponent... You, you and your ally can combine your abilities. So let me explain this one. This one slows things down. This one is the same thing as Vampire. Also gives him some chakra. This one's a portal mage. Um, it has a chance of sending people back to the beginning of the line, but once you send someone back, you, um, you have a lower chance of sending them back again once they come around, right? This guy's the one I really like. Um, it's not the best, but it's a pretty good one. It's an You can consider it an upgraded version of um, this unit I'm using here. Uh, it's a gold unit, but this is the purple unit. Um, goes really fast sometimes, right? That's super speed here. Um, and then this guy, I forgot what he does. Throw ladders or something? Or no, he's the one who throws bombs around and then they explode like mines. It's pretty fun. Okay, uh, for this, I'll upgrade this, these units since I have a whole bunch. I'll do some area damage. It doesn't really matter because it's level one, but in terms of strategy, um, you don't always... So you guys see um, he's maxed out this guy because he wants chakra. I mean, because he, he wants mana. Um, and he's maxed out this guy because that's the main damage dealer. And he hasn't spent anything on anything else. Uh, for me, I have a more balanced approach, but it's not always the best approach. It depends on... Because when you merge units together, it's random. Uh, so let's merge this, these guys. Merge these guys. Level 1, level 1 to different shapes. Level 2. Once you get to level 4, like... When, you, when I merge this is level 3, once you get to level 4, the amount of damage you get lowers. So, um, it's not as effective, but the ability is more effective. Oh, I don't need that. Oops. Okay, towards the end game, um, because they have more HP, it's getting longer to kill them. Uh, it's better to st start upgrading... Uh, this unit, which you should be able to get in the beginning, right? All right, I'm gonna upgrade these guys. This will go fast, probably fast. So I have a lot of um, these units, and I'm happy about that. Uh, but these are all level ones. I'm gonna combine some of this stuff and some of that stuff too. All right, some area attacks. You guys can see that as every unit you summon makes the next unit more expensive to summon. So um, it's a balance between upgrading your mana. Um, on each unit and uh, and also summoning units and combining units and all that stuff and also when you combine units it's not always the same unit so it's like you know random you gotta set it up so that you're happy even if you don't get the unit you want okay let's upgrade this and that gorgon so this boss puts stones on people so that they can't move further until you kill the boss turns them into stone basically okay this guy's actually <laughs> stronger and faster because he has this better unit better version of the unit okay um you should be able to get some gold from this this is where you get gold you do want to watch ads because they do give you a pretty good um bonus not just gold sometimes it's cards too but i'm not going to do it now because it wastes some time all right guys so uh yeah I, I gave you the strategies on which cards you should use i can't tell you exactly which one to use because you randomly get cards i mean you're probably going to get all the normals and all the rares but um, when you get the purples and the legendaries, it's hard to get. Uh, keep in mind, in order for you to get legendary, you need this magic dust, which it's kind of rare, but you just keep playing around. Um, and also watching ads sometimes to get it. You can, you, you guys can also go to the store, click on primary. There's a gift here. 
Um, and then you can also buy some cards here, but it's also random. Then you can refresh using an, uh, by watching an ad. You can also get a random thing here by watching an ad once again. But you guys see this magic dust here? This is where you get your legendary units. You can exchange. Um, so this is where you see your cores, all right? Um, but you can exchange a thousand dust for a legendary card. And if you already have a legendary card, you can upgrade that, um, I think, here. But you also need a magic crystal, which is in the shop. Uh, let's see. Magic crystal should be in the shop somewhere here. Uh, yeah, crystals. No, not that crystal. This is gold. So you guys can see this this currency. You can get some in-game for free, but um, not quite enough for the best stuff. Ignore the avatars and emojis. Okay, yeah, the, you know, the higher rank you get, the better the, ch the stuff in the chest is when you spend your, um, when you spend your crystals. Let's see, seasonal, I think, uh, this one you buy, okay, there we go, seasonal. Uh, you can, so, I don't know how you get this, I just randomly got it from, okay, season pass reward, right, you just keep playing, you do your missions, um, but you guys can get a magic dust you can get some magic dust from that or magic crystal magic crystal allows you to upgrade um a legendary card so for example i have this legendary uh at level eight right but i needed a magic crystal and one of the, one extra card of this guy to upgrade this guy so yeah it was no joke i had to draw um instead instead of getting a new one i got the same card from sees primary uh yeah exchanging magic dust so i had 2000 dust and i got the same card and i had to get a magic crystal from seasonal in order to upgrade that legendary card you eventually will do this i think there's some sort of events too um that allow you to change one card into a crystal um instead of upgrading that card uh that'll come once in a while all right clans is another thing to mention um so okay Sometimes there are competitions here with different rules. Just do them if you want. Um, they also have like tickets and stuff. Oh, well, cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay. Uh, yeah, but this some of it's player versus player. Um, and then over here on the very right, there's also some sometimes events with different rules. And they are kind of fun. They have different rules. Um, sometimes you get to test out uh, cards that you don't have. Uh, depends on your arena level because you unlock more cards as your arena rank goes up in player versus player but yeah uh, it does depend on your arena level but sometimes you get to test out cards you don't have that you might be able to get all right this is fun stuff you know starts in two days starts in nine days starts in 16 days stuff like that um and they have their own system of coins up this currency thing and if you get to the next point i think the next thing for me is this chest with five rare cards and 30 normal cards the normal cards are useful too because they do give um critical damage when you upgrade them okay that should be enough for me to tell you i mean there's other stuff in here but that's those that's the main points um remember focus on uh what in the beginning you want to focus on the engineer and this this guy here um this this unit here is pretty good uh, you want to get a lot of them put together because the more units of this guy you have the better it is um, but you do get to see some really decent, nice units. I've seen some people use uh, this particular one to increase the damage dealt um, as a part of their good strategy. And this one's good if you um, if you don't if you don't if you want like specifically two units. For example, you really want this guy, and uh, you don't want other units. You can have this guy, and you can combine this guy with anyone you want. So that one's actually pretty useful here, but there's some like area attack damage that's actually really useful in the beginning. Air, just like they leave behind poison and then they poison everyone else and then everyone else who's poisoned creates a cloud dust and it just keeps going. That one's a fun strategy, but not always the best. Um, you could combine some slow strategies. So this one stuns for a little bit um, and then this one stun uh, freezes, which slows, slows you down in the cold. There's a lot of strategies here. The, uh, the main thing is you need a damage dealer for sure. Oops. You need a damage dealer. Um, you might want to have an area attack dealer. And you want some supports, but not always. You don't have to have supports. But yeah, this guy's area. This guy's um, one unit at a time, but he hits really hard, really fast. This guy stuns and hits other units and stuns those units. Um, this guy has a chance of instantly killing targets that are not bosses, which means when you have minions that come over, 
um you have a really like it's it's you deal a lot of damage by killing him instantly um, without caring about how much hp he has um that's best when the when you're fighting people with when you're fighting units with a lot of hp and so your other units don't have to spend as much as much time attacking them but the area damage units you know it's an area damage so it's kind of nice mana here increases how much how fast you can upgrade i mean there's so much strategies in here you have to look at it and i don't know which cards you're going to get but i really do like this plant one by the way this one um area damage um when a monster dies and the more units you have here hitting them the more damage you deal I really like this one, but I just don't have them at a really high level. So you gotta think about this and combine them. I almost forgot to mention, guys. Uh, in cards, there's also some equipment that you guys can get, uh, and you you get random fragments of these guys. But yeah, these guys you want to max them up to um, level, and you can build these by using item fragments to craft one. You guys see that I have a whole bunch. You need five of the same type in order to upgrade through the forge. Um, and craft so this is a oh, way on merge merge not craft but if I want to merge this I gotta have like three other items and when you make an armor it's random and so you have to make a lot of these armors and it costs 2,000 gold each so it's kind of expensive and that's why I haven't really um, unless you're going for league 5 I would probably just max out the level on um, these armors and weapons and stuff like that all right okay that's a quick thing you know um, you can also upgrade your trainer uh, click on this guy and it'll say upgrade if you have enough fragments i did not get enough uh fragments of any of the other cards with special abilities like summoning lightning storms or something so i guess just don't expect it unless you're going for league five i mean league four once again all right guys okay guys here those are some strategies um i haven't told you every single thing but those should be enough for you all right hope you guys uh enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in the next offer